yesterday, the regulator for the truck window broke. So I replaced that. This morning, it was 10 degrees out. The car wouldn't start, nor would the truck. So I am the idiot that uh, let the gas get really low and the truck has an issue with freezing in the gas line when it's really low. However, the car, I'm pretty sure it's the battery because it wouldn't start earlier, earlier, but now, I don't know, it's like 18, 19 degrees and it started. So it is an old battery. So I'm going to go replace this vehicle's battery. And then I'm going to charge the truck because stupid me kept trying to start it without warming it and killed the battery. But I took the battery out and I don't have the plugs to put in to charge the battery now. So I'm gonna get those plugs too. So that's three, right? Three? That's how many is supposed to happen. You're not supposed to have any more than three. The car battery's done. And now, I'm waiting for the truck battery to charge. But, let me put this in here. That's where we are at. Kind of filthy. But we got the new gasket here. New oil seal in there. Now we just have to finish putting it all back together. But, like I said earlier, I have been preoccupied with two other cars. It is not fun, let me tell you. But it is what it is. So I know the girls, Julia and Lynn, are going to a Girl Scout thing. I'm going to see Annie tonight. Local theater, I believe. Not sure what. No, Matt has a friend over. But, man, is it ooh, chilly. And they left my basketball out there. So we'll see what's going on. But for right now, I think... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. All right, so... Back together. Well, yeah, got most of the oil. There's one more. I'm not really in the mood. It's only gripped twice in the last hour. So, but this, let me tell you. Battery charger. I have charged this thing three times, turn the key twice, and then I put it back on the charger and it's back to 50%. So, this battery is January of 18. I think I'm gonna take it back up to Napa, have them take a look at the amperage on it. And I'm hoping that's it. Not gonna happen today though. I don't know what else I'm doing today. Uh, but, yep. Gotta love it, right? Winter in Minnesota. I got the little heater blowing down there. The garage was 15 degrees. It is now just about 50 after an hour. So that little thing works great. Good morning, everyone. So I figured out what was wrong with the truck. It was not the battery which is good. Now, on this car, I changed the battery out, but on the truck, it wasn't the ignition. It is not a cable, battery cable, or any of that nature, which I don't know if that would've been good. It's not a solenoid. It is the starter, it, well, the starter solenoid in the motor itself. So, I'm pretty sure it's just the solenoid, but, it's just much easier to replace the solenoid and starter once you get it out. Do it all at the same time. It's a pain in the butt. I wish it was the battery, even though the battery is only a year old in the truck. I wish it was the battery, but it was not the battery. So, in the past two days, I've replaced a window regulator and motor, which, that's easy. I, that's the, the second one. I put a cheap one in there a while ago, and that one froze and the cable snapped. And now 
it's the starter and the motor or the starter motor itself so I am on my way up to the auto parts store to pick up a new one so I can put that in and I will be done I say I'll be done but you know something else is gonna happen but it happens in threes right so window regulator and motor car battery and rocket starter motor. so three nothing else should happen right that's what we say I uh, will uh, I'll show you what I what I got ripped apart at home when we get back all right here we are all the way into the truck so we can show you what we got going on here this is the new starter. Now, we just need to, uh-oh, there it is. Plug in some wires. Oh, that one, and then there's some on top that have to go on. So, that's what I've been doing. Uh-oh. Stuck on something. There we go. All right. There. So you can see, you know, I took the shroud off, or it's down. One of those stuff. And then right in there, I don't know if you can see in there. That's what I've got to connect. So we'll get it connected, and then I'll let you know. Do you hear that? Okay, well that car was Lynn. But it's running. It was indeed the starter. So let's turn it off and turn it back on. And let's just see. Off. Key out. Starts right up. All right, I'm gonna go get some gas in this, put some ISO heat in there. We'll let the kids know, I'll be right back. All right, so we just got back from the gas station, cleaned up a little bit. Hopefully I'm done, so yeah. Thanks for watching Frustration Nation, Dumb Rose Nation, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, whatever you want. I don't really care, but comment down below as Matt said. Hit those links, bells, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.